Hey folks, welcome back to the Portable Gamer. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 and welcome to the Farming Simulator 19 mod contest for 19 for 2019. So, this is uh this is Reisenbeck by the LS Mod Company. I wasn't quite sure when the the mod contest mods would drop. They dropped this morning, uh, Tuesday morning, Tuesday for me. And uh there's a there's a ton of good stuff in there. There are probably I'd say maybe 8 or 10 maps. And of those, I'd say five really caught my eye. Now, we've been doing a UK map on the channel. We've been doing Meadowgrove. So I decided to do a German map. And this is by the LS Mod Company. And I've had good luck with their stuff in the past. So I thought, you know what? Let's give it a try. And I will tell you that in the interest of uh, accuracy, fairness, and disclosure, I have pulled out all of my mods well, I created a second folder, and I moved all of my mods in there, all 420-some of them. And right now, in my mod folder, I have 29 mods, and they are all mod contest mods. So for the moment, we're not running any of the, the typical mods that I normally run, so we're not running vehicle control mod, we're not running the helper extension, we're not running course play. You can see we've got our cursor. We're, we're not running anything. And the reason I did that is I don't want any mod conflict as far as FPS, right? How quickly these maps and mods run. Let's be fair because people have put a lot of time and effort into these. You know what I'm saying. They really, really have. So let's let's be fair to the mod makers and not have anything interfere with their good work and give us a bad impression when it's really got nothing to do with their mod. Does that make sense? I think so. Let's get to it. Uh, the first thing I got is I got an MB track. 800 and I got this little Ford 6810. These are both mod contest mods, so you can check these out. And it's a it's a big small map. And when we look out to the west, field 72, 73, and 74, that's pretty big. But then a lot of these other ones to the east, to the northeast. No, that that's not northeast. That's uh, west. Yeah, it's the opposite. To the northwest, those are those are three meter fields. Those are hundred horsepower fields. So I feel like this will be some good equipment to start with and let's uh let's see what we own here and i don't think we own anything do we own any grass oh here we go we own field 12 and that's it so how much money do we have i sold everything as i do and we've got uh, about half a million euro right now so if we wanted to get some work done let's see could we Oy. So this would be 200, this would be about 250,000 if we wanted to do these. Let's, let's get some arable crops in here. So we'll buy this one. Yes. We'll buy this one. Yes. And we'll buy this one. And I guess, um, can we get all the way around here? I'm looking for roads. I believe, yeah, we can go all the way around here. So let's do this. Let's uh, let's grab a, a lime spreader or a furt spreader or something. Let's load it up at the store, and then we're going to make our way around here and kind of do a map tour. I don't typically do that, but we'll do kind of a map tour, make our way all the way around, get back to these fields, and get started doing a little bit of work. What do you say? Um, this Ford has a weight on the front. Wow, that is a that's a good-looking mod. It really is. That is... Nothing but pleased so far with what I've seen. Right. Now, I do have vehicle control turned off, so I no longer have a shuttle. I might be a, a bit of a goofball as I'm trying to control my tractors, but I will do my best not to cause too many problems. Okay, so this thing. Is this just a regular spreader? Wow. It's a, it's a big spreader. I believe this is part of... Yeah, this is a component for specifically for that Sintrack tractor, which I don't have loaded up right now. I can show it to you, though. Have you seen this thing? Uh, is it here? Is it here? This is going to be kind of an odd episode. I'll let you know ahead of time. Uh, I wonder if it's only under the brand. So this is the Sintrack. I don't even know if this is a real thing, but this is some kind of a... Uh, Futuristic tractor. There we go. Yeah, check this thing out. And it's got all kinds of configurations, and then you can buy parts for it, and and uh, 
additional axles and all kinds of stuff. Like, yeah, this is crazy. So we might get into that later when we have a little bit more money, but we obviously don't have that much money right now. So we're going to stay away from that. So uh, back here, it'll have to be this thing. It's all right. This is the old reliable. However, we're not going to be able to fill it even with uh, even the front weight. That spreader is just going to eat this tractor up. He's just a little guy. So let's get back up here and we'll do a bit of a little tour. Right. And we need, uh, well, we can't do lime because we don't have that mod running. So we're just going to have to do uh, solid fur. There we are. Liking the sound on this thing, too. It's got a nice, uh, kind of old school little tinny diesel, you know what I mean? Not quite a rumble. It's more like a. Well, you can hear it. Crank it up, you can hear it. Right. Map on. And we want to go. Uh, we want to head north. So I believe we're going to head this way. You may see a bit of a stutter periodically. It's because we're loading. But the map is running at it's a solid 60 FPS right now, and it's a it's a pretty detailed map, I have to say. Right, so we're gonna head out here, and I yeah, I really need to remember. I've spent a lot of time on UK maps lately. I really need to remember to stay on the proper side of the road. Right, so yeah, very fast. Um, reminds me a little bit of Herman's Eck. And, you know, I'm always reluctant to compare one map to, uh, to another. There we go. Loading. I'm always reluctant to compare one map to another because that's not... Uh, I feel like that's not always what the map maker is after. You know, it's... This, this map maker may not have uh, intended any type of a comparison or homage to any other maps. Uh, and, and certainly not to Herman Zek, but... That's the first thing I'm thinking of. And I mean that as a compliment. Oh, this is beautiful with the little boat going through on the on the canal down there, on the river. That's fantastic. Wow, that really is. That's nice. Very cool. Very cool. But it's got that same feel to it. It's, uh... Yeah, this is cool. So we're going to go up here and loop around. You know, I think the biggest difference between German maps and UK maps, and those are principally the two the two maps that I play, the two types of maps that I play. I think the the primary difference between them is German maps very often have what I would describe as kind of an idealized or almost like a fairy tale feel to them. They're sort of perfect, and it's not. When I say perfect, I don't mean perfectly executed. I mean the, the world itself, the play area itself, or the you know, what they're creating looks perfect. It looks like a fairy tale. Versus UK maps, which tend to be a little, uh, little more industrial, a little more uh, dirty, I guess, realistic. And I don't mean that in a bad way. But it's, it's uh, I guess, the difference between an idealized world to look at and a and a real world to look at. And both of them, I think, have their have their place or have their advantage. You know what I mean. It's just a different way of, of looking at map making and a different way of looking at the world, really. But I enjoy both. And I enjoy them differently, but I definitely enjoy both. Oh, this is cool. What is this, some type of uh, park and ride over here? Maybe train station. And then over here. You know what? Let's go in here. Because I do see some icons. So it looks like uh, this looks like Animal Dealer. Miss, where are you going? Where are you heading? Looks like Animal Dealer over here and Cell Point. Yep. So there's a Cell Point there. And I guess this is a little port. This is nice. If this is all custom made, wow. 
if <laughs> if that is if that's custom man that is something else wow that is very very cool wow this is unbelievable are these i'm asking seriously because i don't know are these custom made for this map or is this some type of a an asset that you can load from giants because these are amazing wow look at this are you seeing this texture it looks almost 3d looks like it's uh it's got some shadows on it wow really really beautiful work fantastic i'm glad i started with this one and i i realized that these these uh loading cranes are just repeating but they still they still look really really good let's head over here to the animal dealer we'll take a look there and then we'll be on our way oh this is fantastic yeah there was like i said there was about a half dozen different uh is it here yeah it's right here about a half dozen different maps that kind of kind of caught my eye and i'm glad i started with this one i really am that is the animal dealer by the way if you didn't catch that yeah i i don't know if those are uh if those are something the map maker made or if those are giants assets either way they look really good i feel like i've never never looked at them that closely before and the reason i ask is oh so close the reason I ask is, I was under the impression that you had to make everything for for a map. If you entered a map in the mod contest, everything had to be, you had to make everything on the map yourself. But not everything. I mean, that animal dealer, that's a, that's a giant's asset. I've seen that before. So I don't know what the cutoff is. Maybe you just can't use anybody else's stuff, right? Like you can only use giants. I don't know. I'm really curious about those cranes, though. If you have any... If you have any feedback or input on that, do let me know, because I'm genuinely curious if the folks from LS Mod Company made those cranes themselves. They're, they're uh, really good looking cranes. Right, so we're going to loop around here. Now these fields aren't that big. When I was initially looking at the map, these fields looked uh, bigger than they are. Is, is that a thing? Is that possible? They look bigger than they are, but they're... They're... Now that I'm down here, they're not uh, they're not as big as I thought. Although, I mean, they're they're definitely big. They're not something that I'd want to do with necessarily three meter equipment. And that's what we're going to be starting with. Right. So here we're going to make a left and try to head down. Yeah. Right over here. Beautiful. And we are still, yeah, we're still running plenty fast. We've got a lot of trees. We've got a lot of foliage. Uh, we've got crops in the fields. And we, our frame rate is still fantastic. Uh, high, high 40s to mid 50s. So no worries there. All right. And this looks like purchase point. Um, maybe a sell point. Let's take a look. Take a look around. Take a loop around. Um, that looks like lime. And then down here, is this a cell point? Loading. Loading. Yeah. So we're buying on the other side and we're selling here. Let's take a look at the map and see if we get an icon when we zoom in. Yeah, that is a lime station. Okay. And then it looks like fuel right down here. Fuel is, uh, where is it? Yep, right there on the left. Beautiful. Okay. And then out of here and to the, to the left. There we are. Nice. Oh, I'm glad this worked out. There were, there's several UK maps. There's several German maps. I wouldn't say I picked at random. You know, I did try to like, eyeball them a little bit but one of my favorite things is just hopping into a map that I've never been on before and we all just kind of get to know it together 
And the, the fun thing about that is getting to know it together. The, the downside is when it turns out to not be what you thought it was, and then it's just, you know what I'm saying? A bit poo. And uh, now, to be fair, these are the mod contest mods. So they're all, hopefully, they're all sort of pre screened and, you know what I'm saying? Pre approved. But I feel like this is just about as good as we could have done for a German map. This is fantastic. Curious what this is going to look like at night. I don't see a lot of street lights, and I don't see a lot of buildings, at least down on this part of the map. And I know as good as this game looks at night, it's all those little pinpoints of light sort of glowing that, that I think really bring it alive. Now, I see some stuff out to the out to the left, but I don't know if we're going to go past it. There's some stuff over there. I think that might just be static. I don't know. I mean, I, well, here's a turn off right here. We could go over there. You want to? Why not? Why the hell not? Alright, so... Yeah, I don't know if these are just scenery objects or if there's something happening out here, but we'll go check it out. And it looks like 18 miles an hour is top speed on this tractor. I love it. Uh, ah, interesting. Okay, so there's one more bridge out here. And this is the train station mill. Looks like the pony farm is out here as well. And the train station mill, eh? Okay. Turn that back on. Pony farm looks like it's quite the facility over here on the right. Wow. Okay. Now. Let's turn in here. I'm I'm wondering now if that's uh, an, some type of indoor training facility. That is, I've not seen that before. It looks like a little dressage course, but it's on a it's on a slope. It's on a hill. Putting those ponies to work, man, that ain't easy. Jumping gates up and down hill. All right. So we'll leave this right here. No break to set. Oh. Uh, Really? Let me get the map turned off so you can fully appreciate this. Again, I, I don't know if this is a giant's asset. I don't recall ever seeing anything like this before. This is gorgeous. The, uh, the textures, everything. Wow, this is like... This is one of the best looking buildings I've ever seen. This is really, really pretty. Wow. You know, I would again. I would ask, is this a giant's asset that they placed? But I know it's not because honestly, it looks so much better than base game. I'm not kidding. Like this looks better than the inside of any barn in base game. This looks amazing. Wow, wow! Kudos, map maker. This is really, really gorgeous. Well done, well done. Right. So we're gonna back up here. I'm going to get out of here. A little bit of stutter every now and then as we're loading. But, you know, the best way to avoid that is just to run around the whole map a couple times. There's some more boats on the canal, on the river. Uh, run around the map a couple times. And there are even some people that say uh, fast forward time to night. And then run around the map at night one time. And after that, you won't have any problems. Very narrow bridge. Let's hope there's no traffic. We've got two boats on the river. Three boats on the river. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, and I, I hope you... When I'm talking about the difference between a, a realistic map and sort of an idealized map, I think that bridge is a good example. Uh, that When I see a bridge like that, I think that is, to me, that's typical of a, a German-style map, which is very, um, it, it's almost too good to be true, but not in a bad way. It's just kind of idealized. But that's, to me, those are the hallmarks of a German map. Right, so point here. Now, do we... Let's hop out for a second. Do we need to open this? Because that looks... Yeah, I see some hinges there. Let's see what we got. 
There we go. Oi, going for a ride. Okay, now. Jump back before we get trapped in there. Fantastic. And I'm gonna do this the, the rest of the way around the map. I, I don't want to attribute a, a placed giant's asset to the map maker, but honestly, a lot of these things that I'm seeing on this map, I've never seen before. And because you're supposed to build your own stuff, I'm, I'm concluding that LS Mod Company built a lot of these assets themselves for this map. And if so, they have really done fantastic work. Very much impressed. All right, so we're going to continue rolling down here. God, that, that first spreader on that little 6810 is just ridiculous. I know, I know. Probably would not have done it that way. However, that is the smallest first spreader that we have access to. I don't think there's a smaller one that you can buy. And without... Um, yeah. I mean, we can we can get the slurry trading system up and running next episode and use a small slurry spreader, digestate spreader. But at the moment, this is the only way we can spread fur. I'm curious what we're going to do. I, I suppose we'll throw some kind of uh, little cultivator or subsoiler, base game, subsoiler or cultivator on the MB track and get that going, but I think we're at like 150 horsepower and 106 horsepower. So the, the influence of my... Uh, my UK crew has rubbed off on me. They've been trying to get me down to smaller and smaller tractors, and it seems to have worked. So we'll try to stay under 200 horsepower again. Although for some of those big fields out to the east, you know what I'm saying? That could be challenging, but we'll figure it out. We got plenty of time. Plenty of time. I, I keep turning the map back on until I learn my way around here. And this is a full card map too. I, I assume you saw that when we were, just pause for a second. I assume you saw that when we were out here. This is, that's the whole play area. That's a big map. I love it. So we'll go down here and we'll make a uh, left. Yeah, we'll make a left. I see another facility. Actually, hmm, how do we get in there? Can we get in? Looks like to the right and then make a left. Oh, cement truck. Beautiful. Now, there is... Uh, here's a question for you. This is day one of the mod contest. There was... There was... There is a Unimog mod. And I, I wanted that because it's like 261 horsepower. I thought that might be our big tractor. It... It's on the, the mod contest download page. And... I don't see it in... Oh, here's the uh, BGA. Is it? I see a dome. I see it um, when I go to the mod page in... Oh, interesting. When I go to the mod page in-game, I see it there as well, and it says it's installed. But then after I start the map, it's not there. It's like the, it's like the game is seeing it. No, reverse that. It's like the, the mod... The mod page is seeing it, but the actual game loading screen is not. Like, I can't select it or turn it on or use it. Right. This BGA. Oh, this is nice. Well, steps up here to inspect our silage. Fantastic. Two pits. And, oh, careful. Is this our hopper over here? I assume it is. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That's a little tricky. You see that? To unload, we need to kind of come in here and, uh, yeah, do a thing. Okay. I see a tap here. I assume that is for our digestate. That. Is this fuel? Hmm. Is this fuel or biodiesel? just calling it a gas station um we'll have to investigate i'm curious if that's some type of biofuel that's produced by the b 
BGA. And then over here, this is interesting. Then we've got our pigs at the BGA. That's unusual. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Okay. And then our trigger is here. Sure is. Fantastic. I love it. Back in the little Ford. So I'm curious if that Unimog gets sorted out because I think that would be a, a fitting tractor for this map to be our third, our third tractor and our big tractor for some of those bigger fields. So we'll see if we get that working. Right. So now we're going to head back up here and go... Uh, let me see. We want to go... Can we get there this way? I want to explore new areas of the map, and we've already been to the right, or we came from the right. So let's head out here to the left. Where do we need to get to? Uh... Oh, interesting. So looking at the map now, we've got the BGA pig farm, and then to the west of that, we've got the regular BGA. Interesting. Okay. If you occasionally hear me get my, uh, my east and my west mixed up, Part of that is I haven't had enough coffee this morning, and part of it is I am mildly dyslexic. Not terrible. Just a little bit. Just enough. So, how do we get in there? I think we want to take a left and then a right. All right. Now, I'm, I'm curious now. Um, no, there were definitely silage pits at, that, at the pig farm. I was wondering if that was some type of a, a pig feed mixer. But I don't think it is. Wow, this is... Oi, careful. This is really tight and complicated here. Now, do we have trains on this map? Let's take... <laughs> it seems we do. Okay. Beautiful. I don't know if that was a script, right? I don't know if that was a script where the train comes every time you get to the tracks or if that was just the best coincidence ever, but that was perfect. Love it. All right, so we're going to go up here and over, and then it looks like sort of around to the right is another VGA. So yeah, I don't know if that is, I don't know if there's anything unusual about the, the what we're going to have to call the pig farm BGA now. I don't know if there's anything unusual about it or if it's just a regular, regular BGA on one side and a regular pig farm on the other side. They just happen to be on the same pad. I don't know. But, uh, but regardless, we'll, uh, we'll unpack all that. This looks like it could be. I have to say, this looks like it could be a long map. Oh, you know what? You remember these? I remember seeing these in like FS15. Isn't this where you went to get the jobs? In FS15? I think it might have been. Ah. Yeah, there were like little, uh, little, little signboards. And that was where you went to get the contract jobs in FS15? Am I wrong about that? I haven't seen those for a while. Right, so here's the BGA proper. Proper. Let's see what we got up here. I like the nice long roads and long approaches. I don't know if we'll be able to use course play on this map, but this is... Um, looks like there's going to be a lot of driving on this map. Not necessarily a bad thing. I do like balance between driving and farming. I don't like maps that have too much driving. I got enough. I've got enough race simulators and truck simulators. I drive all the time. Holy smokes! That is a bunker. Good grief! That is massive. This one is. I don't know. It's probably half the size. Wow! That is. We could fit. I'm guessing several million liters of silage in there. Right, what's in here? Got, got a little man door. 
Can we walk through it? Eventually we can. Place to park our front loader. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm feeling like, you know, looking at the way these uh, ceilings are put together, this does not look like uh, anything that I've ever seen in base game, which leads me to believe, again, that, that a lot of these assets were built by LS Mod Company, and they are just... I don't know how well the video is picking it up, but they are just absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, a lot of time and effort has been put into these, and it really, really shows. This is fantastic. I'm only going to vote for things that I used uh, as far as mods for the mod contest, and I'm giving this one, I don't know, four stars, five stars, whatever the most stars you can give. That's what I'm giving this, this map. Very, very nice. So what is down here? Is this just a little turnaround? Or is this a place to load? Ah, interesting. Okay. Does this open? Sure does. Okay. You know I want to jump down in there. How far over does it go? Oh, no, it doesn't go very far. Okay. I imagine this is for loading digestate. Maybe. Wow, this this whole map is just like it just keeps getting deeper and deeper, yo. It's like no matter what we see, that we just keep finding new things to see. Now these, I'm pretty sure I have seen before. Yeah, almost positive I've seen these before. So maybe not everything. Maybe not everything. Uh, but uh, again, I don't know. I don't know exactly what the rules are as far as what you can use and what you have to make yourself. Regardless, very, very impressive. Yeah, I, I'm, it's hard to describe. And I again, I don't know if the video is picking it up, but just the the, the textures and the, the way that the wood is brought together, all of it, it just looks Better than base game. Right, so let's get turned around here. I'm trying to remember which way to turn so that we get back to where we're trying to get to. Right. It's weird to not have to set the brake. Uh oh, there we go. It's weird to not have to set the brake when I get out of the tractor. Although, in fairness, we don't really have to set the brake when we get out of the tractor with vehicle control mod. It's just something I'm in the habit of doing. Right. Uh, before we get any further, before we get back into traffic, let's take a look here. Um, you know what? Let's go past our farm and head up to the spinnery and the barn and the grain mill. And that'll take us almost a, a complete circle back to the store. Oh, and I just saw right next to the store. I wasn't able to spot it before on the other map, but we also own Field 1 right next to the store. Okay, fair enough. So if we go here, now we're going to take a right and just go past all that stuff. Okay. Here we go. So we're coming up on fields that we own. This is going to be a long episode, I can tell already. I think we're probably over 30 minutes at this point, and we've got a little ways to go yet until we're all the way done. I don't mind. I don't mind. All right, a little bit of load right there. We, we dropped down, FPS dropped down, but it picked back up, and we're, uh, we didn't pick quite back up to where we were. We're, we're in the 40s right now. Evergreen? Okay. This is... These are our fields over here on the on the right, and we are going to need to bring those in. Um, is this our? No. This is a cell point over here. Okay. So is there one here and one there? What's down there? 
That looks like sawmill and wood chips. But I saw, moment please, I saw another sawmill. Oh, everything's in German. This, the Sageworks, is that not, I, I say Sageworks. Is it Saga work? It, mm, all right. We'll have to look those up. I, I guess one buys wood and one buys wood chips. I don't know. Also, I don't speak German. And this looks like just a regular grain cell point. Um, yeah, we'll look all that up. We'll figure out what everything is and what it does. Now we need to go... If we go back this way, that's a river. So how do we get... It has to be this way then. To get to our farm. So we go this way. Right, we're getting into a little village of some kind. Fantastic. And our farm is to the west, to the left. Right down here. Right down here. God, this map, it's big, man. It just keeps going and going and going. Right. So here's us. Welcome home. This is our dairy farm as well. So there's our house. We've got a fuel cell point here. We've got pits over there. Beautiful. Sheds there. Yep. Let's get out and take a look. I was trying to look over my shoulder there, but no need to do that. So, got a grate there. We've got an auger here. Around the back is, yeah, beautiful. And then up here. Very nice. Fantastic. Lights inside. This is. I'm nothing but impressed. Well done, LS Mod Company. And then the same over here. Beautiful. It still amazes me that people make this stuff and just give it away. I mean, I know they might make a little money as far as downloads and that sort of thing, but when you think about, you know, once a mod is available, like these mods were were put up on the Giants website. You can just download it and then start posting it yourself on any site that you want. It, there's really nothing that can be done about it. I think it's a shame, but there's just no way to control it other than to have mods only function or only work properly if you load them through the game itself, which means that they could only come from Giants and, and therefore they are approved and the mod maker, whoever that may be, you know, gets the proper credit, and if there's any payment to be made, they get paid. But that doesn't seem like anything that's going to happen soon. So, once a mod is released, you know, if you're trying to, to post it on certain sites so that people download it and you get a, you know, a nickel or a penny or whatever it is that you get, there's just no way to really control that. And once a, once a mod is available, anybody can upload it to any shady website they want. So even if people do make money on these, I don't think they make much. And uh, it just amazes me that that even though mod makers know that, and even though they know other people are going to steal their mods and mess with them and you know ruin them and you know, make changes and then release it under the the original mod maker's name and make it look like they did bad work and you know just all the drama that goes that goes with modding. Even though modders and map makers know that, they still do this for us anyway. That just really amazes me. I don't know if I'd have the patience for that. This is fantastic. This is, uh, this is a mod contest map for sure. It's, uh, it's really, really good. Beautiful.
beautiful. Crossing, uh, we're crossing tracks this time because the river is still up there. All right, and we're gonna head to the to the left here, sir. All right, so this is the village proper, sir. This is the village proper, and we need to go. Ah, see, I would have gone to the left, but that ain't how you do it here. Oh, okay, so we got two lanes turning. All right, that was not, oh, that was not clear to me, but now it is. Right. So we go up here, and then another left will take us back to, ah, this, it just keeps going. Where's the edge of the world? Right, this is our last facility, and it looks like we've got a couple of cell points here. Let's take a look at the other map and see what this is. So, this is the spinnery and the grain mill and the barn. So, this will be bale sales, wool sales. We can buy lime here, and it looks like there's also a fuel stop. However, uh, some of it, yeah, it. when you look at it in the mini-map, it looks like it's all connected, but I believe we've got one cell point and our lime purchase here, and then I think we need to go a little bit more to the west to get to the spinnery and the fuel stop. Okay, so that is... This looks like... Spinnery. All right, right up in here. I have the triggers turned off. We can turn those on for a second and see if we can spot them. Uh, right here. Yep, there's that one. And we'll go around the corner to the fuel stop. We'll call it an episode. Next week, we will get started prepping our fields. And uh, we will probably rent a combine harvester because it looks like we've got some crop in at least one of our fields. All right. Fuel station is not as detailed as some of the other assets on the map. But you know what? It's not a deal breaker. I'm not bothered by that. Beautiful. And uh, just to, sir, just to tie it off here, I guess we can loop around and just see the rest of this village, which is right up here. Yep, right around here. Here we go. I'm really liking the canal and the little, little boats doing their thing out there. I think that's a nice, nice detail. And in fact, if we turn here, this will take us back to the store. Fantastic. Is that it? Uh, okay, not quite. It, this loops us around, so then... It, oh, wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. I guess I turned a little too early. This is... Alright. This is different. We'll call the sack. So we want to go back out here. I'm going to go down one more. Okay. Not a problem. Oh, not even yielding. That's me. I just blew right through that sign. So then we turn here. And this takes us back to the store. Sit. Yep, there's an entrance right here. Fantastic. And there's our MB track. That's it. There you go. Let me get parked here. Engine off. There you go. That's it. This is going to be our fleet when we get started, and we'll do that next episode. Folks, 
Thanks for stopping back to check out The Portable Gamer. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Farming Simulator 19. This is, let me make sure I say it right. Let me make sure I get the name right. This is Ricenbeck. We'll see you next time. Take care now.